What's up YouTube? I want to do a quick video on what I use and just purchased to uh, weld aluminum in the field. It is probably the cheapest but yet most effective setup that I've ever bought and used and completed a very large job with and I just have to share it. Um, you will be honestly surprised where I got the machine and how well it works and the amount of money this whole setup cost. So I'm going to go through it real quick. Uh, if you stay tuned for this video, I've got me welding with this machine with a lens for my camera. That, um, sorry about that. With a lens for my camera that you can see um, the welding process very well. And you can actually watch the welding being done. You can see the weld afterwards and I if you're interested in this, I would highly suggest you stay tuned for that because I'm pretty proud of the footage and, and that I was able to get and the lens that I actually made myself out of a welding hood lens and some other filters and stuff on my camera. So that's pretty cool. It's basically like you're underneath the hood and it's seeing what I see when I weld. So I was pretty proud of that. So stay tuned for that and the look of the aluminum weld, you will be honestly surprised because you can't even tell the difference between it and a TIG weld. And real quick, let me run through my setup. I also have an unboxing of this machine on this video, uh, as well as the spool gun, which uh, it goes in detail what comes with the machine, um, where you get the spool, you know, what comes with the spool gun and how to set it up. So stay tuned for that as well. But real quick, let's run through what I got. This is a Vulcan Omni Pro 220. It actually comes from Harbor Freight, believe it or not. It's a new line of welding products. If you look on YouTube, there's quite a few videos surprisingly enough to me i didn't realize but there's quite a few videos on this machine already i've been looking forward to doing this video and i wanted to be one of the first ones to fully review this machine but i will that i i do believe that i'm the first one to uh, review the use of this spool gun and uh the actual welding of aluminum with this machine so i'm pretty excited about that and uh that's why i'm kind of rushing to get this video out so anyway uh, this is the Vulcan Omni Pro 220. This is the Vulcan spool gun. It's about 200 bucks uh, from Harbor Freight. The machine is about, if you get the coupon and the 25% off or whatever, and I actually had some other coup uh, Vulcan coupon when I purchased mine. I got mine for about 700 bucks, but right now the price has been going up constantly since it came out. So you can probably get one from anywhere between eight and a thousand dollars. So that plus the $200 setup, you're looking at, you know, around a thousand dollars. So that's still cheaper than a blue machine or a red machine alone. If you were to buy them without the spool gun, that's cheaper than, than that altogether. So right there, and it also comes with the regulator and everything which you'll see in the unboxing. So it'll have everything you need. All you'll need is, you know, some wire. And I use the 4043 aluminum 035. So the most important thing about this video is whether you're able to run this machine off of in the field. Uh, obviously in the shop off 220 or 120 the machine's gonna work good because it's a good machine but the most amazing thing and probably the coolest thing that I've figured out is that I can run this machine off of a small generator you don't have to have I have a Bobcat 225 and I don't even have to use that I can use this machine which is this generator it is a champion power equipment it's a 6875 starting watts but running watts we're only looking at 5,500 watts. So that's extremely low to run a welding machine, especially to weld aluminum and run off 240 volts. So I, I power this machine off 240 volts off this generator, which is a small affordable generator. So all together, this entire setup, uh, even if we said you ordered an argon bottle, which you can get shipped to your door for like 200 bucks full of argon. But um, I already had the argon bottle, but all together, you got a thousand dollars for the machine and you can get this generator for about $599, 600 bucks. So right there, you're at under the cost of a blue or red machine right there alone. And you can weld aluminum in the field with just that cost right away. Um, you gotta get some wire or whatnot, but for $600, you get the generator, $800, you get the machine, and $200, you get the school gun, and bam, you can go weld aluminum in the field and not just weld aluminum, you can do it well. Um, I just did about, 440 feet of aluminum hand railing that was all powder coated and installed at a new student housing complex and 
I'm just thoroughly oppressed with this machine because it welded every bit of that handrail and uh, it also welded it together in the field and it looked phenomenal. Um, I just finished another job which was about 110 feet of uh, two line handrail which is uh, the DOT standard DOT rail. Uh, it's aluminum two and three eighths pipe um, and it's all welded together and it's not powder coated so the welds are not covered up. Everything is going to be seen and the welds just look, you cannot tell the difference between a TIG weld and, and, uh, and the, the spool gun weld with this machine. And there's a trick to setting that up and I'll explain that here in just a minute because at first you will think you've got it set up but I can tell you now that you, if, if you're not spraying and you'll know what I mean if you tried this machine but um, you've literally got to be spraying and it's just the results are flawless so you're going to be welding I'll go ahead and explain it to you now you're going to be welding with high heat and low wire speed so I run mine at about 22 to 24 volts um, on the 4043 setting with the, uh, the machine and I run my wire speed at around 340 to 380 which is extremely low because the auto set on this machine will set you in the 400s or more uh, around 450 or so on the wire speed which is way too high to get the results that I'm telling you that I get from this machine so if you do the auto set now there may be a way to set the auto set to where it automatically goes to the settings that you prefer but I just know right out the box I think I use this machine I haven't played with any of that and the uh, auto set sets the wire speed way high so once you get that wire speed fine-tuned to a lower wire speed you will be extremely impressed with the welds that you can get out of this machine as I am and uh, I love this machine I have a Miller 211 I, I've had Lincoln's I've got a Bobcat 225 and honestly for the price I, I looked into getting a second machine and I found this machine and I looked on all the reviews and read all about it and I was like you know what I'm gonna get it instead of getting another blue machine and I'm very happy about that decision so stay tuned for the uh, I'll put the welding clips on here you can watch that and then um, I got an unboxing of everything that comes with this machine if you uh, are lucky enough to get your own. I appreciate you watching. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Boomtown. Thank you.